Hello, in this video, we're going to be going over how to set up a single VTO and a single VTH using the one key config from the new VTH. So as soon as you boot both devices up, you're going to be greeted with this page on the VTH. It's going to ask you for a region and a language. We're going to go ahead and select United States, um, since we're in the United States, and then we're going to select English. The language is already set in English, so I'm just going to go ahead and proceed with OK. After you hit OK, it's going to ask you, do you want to do a quick configuration? You want to select Villa Station, since this is going to be a Villa VTO, and we'll hit OK. In this page, it's going to ask you for config mode. Um, this is going to be the first time we're setting these two devices. They're right out of the box. And you'll see it's, oh, you have two options. First time config and replace existing main VTH. We're going to select first time config, hit OK. At this point, by default, it's going to get both devices to DHCP mode. So if you want them on the network, this will do it for you. If you don't want them on the network, you're going to want to select static IP address. And at this time, at this point in time, you'll select your IP address. In this case, I'm going to leave them DHCP. So I'll select DHCP and we'll hit next. At this point, it's going to ask you to set up a password for the VTH. For this tutorial, I'm going to do it really simple. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to hit this little eye icon to reveal the password, just to make sure that we tapped it incorrect. Email will be required. Again, for this tutorial, just going to type in something really simple. Once you set up your password, you're going to hit next. And it's going to ask you to set the VTO password now. Um, in this case, it is going to be numerical and uh, letter password and at least eight digits. So we'll do admin one, two, three for, for this tutorial. Okay. Same thing with the email. It should keep the same email so you don't have to type it again. If not, make sure you type it in there. Once you can confirm the password is correct, you'll hit next. And in this page, it's going to show you both devices and it's going to show that the operation that or the status that they're in uninitialized. So at this point, you're going to want to hit initialize for both units. And here you have it. Status both initialized. I did notice that the IP address for the VTO was changed by the VTH. So when we go to next, we're going to want to edit that. Oh, it came back. That's fine. Uh, DHCP took effect, so the IP address recorrected itself. At this point in time, we're going to want to select the time and date, make sure that everything is correct. Same with video standard. By default, it's PIL, so you are going to want to switch it over to NTSC. For the date and time format, we typically use month, day, form, month, day, and year. And time format, you could use 12 hour, 24. I'll use 12 for this tutorial. And we'll go ahead and fix the time. Currently, it's 1.30 PM. Oh, well, this is the date. So today's date is 1.13, so I'll be selecting 1.13. Time, it's going to be 1.31 now, so I'll go ahead and select the time. And this is going to be PM. The time zone looks correct. We're Pacific time. And we'll hit OK once that is configured. Now that we have both devices up and running, we're going to hit one key config. 
Now this can take up to a process of one to two minutes, uh, maybe even three. The status will stay stuck on 66% until the VTO reboots. So the VTO is going to be rebooting at this point. Um, once we hear the tamper alarm go off, we know that it's rebooted. And I will now pause the video just so you can hear the tamper alarm go off and we can confirm that the VTO is booted up and running. Okay, I just heard the VTO click, so it should be booting up here fairly shortly. And there's a tamper alarm. And as you can see, the percentage there flicked to 100%. Um, now, it usually takes a little bit of time to initialize um, and process both the one key config and the information. Uh, on the top right, you do see that the VTO X icon that you normally see if it's incorrect is gone. So we'll go ahead and press the button now. And as you can see, it doesn't call. So we are going to have to wait about 30 seconds to a minute to finalize all the information. Um, so we'll give it a little bit more time here. And the VTO turned off. So at this point, we should be fine. We'll go ahead and press the button the one more time. Okay. We'll give it a bit more. We can also do monitor uh, while we're waiting. This is just to make sure that all the information went through. So we do see video. We're just waiting for the SIP, the SIP configuration to take effect. Um, if it doesn't, I highly recommend maybe initiating a two-way talk. And there it is. Let me mute that. Okay. So SIP is, the SIP is working fine now. We'll go ahead and call. And now it is completely talking with both devices. So that is how you set up a one key config for VTO and VTH.